Remember to read and reread your application. Make sure you understand it. And you need to go ahead and let X represent what you are looking for. You are looking for how long it will take to travel 100 miles. And now let's look at the translation here. We are given that the car can be driven 80 miles in three hours. I'm going to write my proportion. Since this in the numerator is miles and in the denominator is hours, I'll write this side so I have miles in the numerator and hours in the denominator also. We're asked how long will it take to travel 100 miles. So that's miles. That goes in the numerator. How long? We're going to look for hours. That's in the denominator. Now let's move on and let's solve this application. I'll use cross product since I have a proportion set up. 100 times 3, that's 300. And then 80 times x, that's 80x. And now let's solve this equation for x. I'll rewrite my equation and I'll divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 80. On the right side I have 80 over 80, which is 1 times x or simply x. The left side, I know the numerator and denominator at least have a common factor of 10, so I can write it at least partially simplified as 30 over 8. And then there's also another common factor of what? There's another common factor here of 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Let's go ahead and write that as a mixed number. 4 divides into 15 3 times. 3 times 4 is 12, so my remainder is 3 fourths. What does that mean? It means it takes 3 and 3 fourths hours then to drive the 100 miles.